I've been watching you like the hawk in the sky. That fly for you on my prey. Boy, I promise you, if we keep bumping heads, I know that one of these days we gon' hook it up. Probably talk on the phone, but see, I don't know if that's good. I've been holding back this secret from you. I probably shouldn't tell it, but if I let you know, you Are you responsible? Oh, I'm doing my part, so I'm not just saying that. Is it my goal? Is it your goal? Sometimes I'm pretty good, but now I'm not in my. Say yes, I say no, 'cause I believe really somebody. Tell me about somebody. Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome, I'm so happy to have you here. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. Today we're gonna jump right into this review from a unit by Outre. Yes, Outre again. And the name of this unit is Tiana. Tiana is from Outre's Perfect Hairline series. Some of you may have seen my review of another unit from that series, Ivory, and you know how much I was raving about the hairline on that unit. Definitely check it out if you wanna see what I was talking about after this video. I'll link it in the description box. But yes, Tiana is from that series. She has a 13 by four frontal so that's different from their other units that come with a 13 by 6. She does come with Swiss lace, a pre-plucked part, baby hairs, your two combs on the side, a comb in the back, adjustable straps, an elastic band is included as well so she comes with all the stops and she is heat safe up to 400 degrees. Let me give you a quick 360 of the unit. All right, yeah, let's just dive into the pros of Tiana. First pro is definitely this hairline. As you can see here, it's looking pretty natural. Outre definitely stepped it up when it came to pre-tweezing this hairline so that it didn't look boxy like the other earlier units from this particular line. As far as the HD lace, I mean, to me, it looks like it's blending very well. The lace was not white like some of the new Body Boss HD lace wigs, so I found that to be a big plus. It was more like a beige color, so that's more workable for me. I basically used my CoverGirl foundation that's a shade darker than me, and that helped me blend. I did start using the Ruby Kisses at first, but it's, it looked ashy to me, so that's why I stopped and switched to the CoverGirl. Also, another process unit I think is the color. I think it's very pretty on me. I did state in another video that I was kind of over like the Honey Blonde thing. When I first started trying colors, I did a lot of Honey Blondes, and I think I'm kind of over it. To a certain and this is like more of a, giving me 27 vibes, but there is some dimension in the color. You just can't see it right now with my lighting. Sorry, you guys. I love how Atre does their colors. Like right now, Atre can do no wrong when it comes to coloring to me. So I knew that was gonna be a pro. And of course the rooting looks good. It's not too harsh for this blonde. So overall, you know, the lace and the construction of this unit is good. The elastic band, same way I felt about the other ones and this line is just okay. I don't really see it making a huge difference. Also, I do think this cap is big head friendly. Now let's get into the cons. The first con for me, the personal con, is the texture. To me, it's it's pretty silky and I just don't like it. I don't I don't like silky synthetic wigs. So there's that. <laughs> I took it out the box and I was just like, uh. All right, this is what we're gonna have to work with, Gladys. Let's just do it. Also, another con is the style. Out the pack, it looked, I don't know. To me, it was just kind of falling flat and then it had these weird ends. On this side, it's not the same. It's one plus one does not equal two here. I mean, it is an easy fix. You can easily just flat iron this out until the bend matches on both sides. Or if you don't like the bend, you can just flat iron it all together. I did flip it over and take some pictures and I was like, okay, this is kind of cute, but for pictures, like I, I wasn't really feeling it. So I decided to do half up, half down. And I think she does look really cute like this. It's just that the ends are really, I just need Tiana to pick how she wants to look. Like, are we doing the extreme bend or not? Nah? Ooh, side note. I 
try this bedhead spray in replacement of got to be glue free spray. I did that because I saw Sherelle, AKA Natural Joy use it when I asked her about it. She told me she likes it better than got to be glue free spray. And I must admit this thing, like the hold is impeccable. I'm impressed. I feel like this will last days. It's not going nowhere. I also like the fact that I got the travel size. I can easily just Whenever we're allowed to travel again, <laughs> I can just throw it in my carry-on without worrying about size restrictions, you know, when you're traveling. So yeah, this is cute. If you want to check this out, there will be a link to it in the description box. I am definitely recommending it. It's only my first time using it, but from what I can tell, it's legit. So thanks, Cheryl, for putting me on. But that's really all I have to say about Tiana. Overall, when it comes to this series, I really like the way they constructed this wig. The hairline looks really good on these later units that they've been coming out with. I just don't like the texture. So there's that. This half and half down is cute though. So I think I'm gonna get, you know, some nice pictures in this. At least I was able to style it to a way where I felt like it was presentable for the camera. <laughs> You guys let me know how you feel about Tiana in the comments down below. How do you feel about this color on me? How do you feel about the unit itself? Have you tried some of the other wigs from the Perfect Hairline series? Let me know your thoughts. Drop those comments down below because you know I love when y'all talk to me. Also, if you're new here, click that subscribe button so that you don't miss anything coming up and tap that notification bell. Remember friends, we are on the road to 10K, so let's reach this goal together. We are so close, I can taste it. Can it happen in April, can it happen this month? Y'all can let me know in the comments too if you feel like it's gonna happen. I feel like it will, and I plan on having a nice little celebration with you all. So yes, I'm really looking forward to that. Also, if you like seeing me in blonde hair, I have an entire playlist dedicated to me wearing blonde wigs. I will link that in the description box. Check out the playlist and let me know what you think. If you want to see some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I probably shouldn't tell it, but if I